Hey guys, I hope all is going well for y'all. It's about 10:02 uh, in the p.m. here, and I uh, just uh, got the urge to say howdy ho to you in video land. It's good that you're here. You keep watching and stuff. I put out so much stuff on the web lately that uh, I guess I just felt like I didn't always have to do the video blog, but that's wrong because I need you praying for me. Amen. So I'm glad that you're here. Thanks for clicking on this, and I appreciate you being part of the solution. Uh, it's been a terrific day. I was at uh, Gwinnett Crossings uh, this afternoon with a number of my partners, including uh, Tito Ruiz, who's uh, my brother that I play with uh, in a band cruise, along with his brother Lester. But Tito was there. Uh, two of my favorite missionaries, Steve and Ruth Nolan, who served in Argentina and also in India, they were there. Uh, Robert and Shalita Carter that are two of my favorite pastor friends uh, from Greater Faith Ministry they came over uh, they missed most of it because of bad traffic but I did get to talk to them some and uh, a lady named uh, Taiwanika Walker she was there she was new I had never met her before uh, but I was glad that, that she was there and uh, Amy Turner who's also from First Babs Duluth she was there and we're talking about the good stuff that's going to be happening over in uh, at, at Gwinnett Crossings, uh, which is one of our new missions right off of Satellite Boulevard near Steve Reynolds and Gwinnett Place Mall. So it's it's very exciting to uh, see the team come together. You know, five different churches at all different gifts, and it was just so cool because this morning I was reading in uh, First Corinthians and <clears throat> and twelve when it all talks about all the different parts of the body and how they all work together and. Uh, that's it really is as I as I'm sure I've said before on this blog my favorite part of of what I do is is putting together the team you know bringing in different people from from wildly different areas and different skills and and getting them to come and work together on the mission field it's it's just it's it's one of those things that I always am appealed to in the movies you know any any movie that puts a big team together whether it's a football team or a soccer team or a uh, you know uh, your Green Berets or whatever and that always really appeals to me I think that that's uh, probably the most important thing that I do is try to help mobilize and engage people and I remember when I was in Kenya I guess that would have been back in like 94 93 and the missionaries that were living in, in Brackenhurst, which was this place where all the missionaries learned Swahili, uh, Kathy and I were there on like a temporary assignment. I was working at the Baptist Media in Nairobi. Uh, but I remember they would give the Sunday evening slots to different missionaries, and uh, some of them would preach, some of them led the music. Well, it became known that, you know, I was a musician guy, so um, I led the music one, t music one time. And we had a good old time, and everybody was really singing. And afterwards, one of my, I call her Aunt Janine, because she was one of the other missionaries that I grew up with, Aunt Janine Boyd, uh, who was a spectacular musician, piano player, and her husband uh, was amazing vocalist, Glenn Boyd. Uh, but she told me, she said, you know, Tim, you have the ability to really get people to get involved. And she made it, she said that because of, you know, people get them to sing you know and um, but uh, I do think that that is one of my my skills is I am able to try to help people overcome whatever fear they may have either fear of the unknown or whatever to uh, to get involved and do something special so uh, it's always fun to, to see that happen so it was a great day uh, I uh, also enjoy the morning. Uh, went over to the uh, to my office in Doraville and picked up the uh, the bills that had been left there since uh, you know I was in New York City this uh, last week. Well, you didn't know that unless you keep reading the other blog, but uh, I had a blank in the written blog too because I didn't have access to the web while I was up in uh, NYC. At least I didn't make a hard enough effort to get at it. You know, sometimes. Like when I was up in Chattanooga, I don't always, <clears throat> I, I feel like I have to make a conscious effort <laughs> not to work. Because <laughs> my natural tendency is just to always be faking and figuring out something about work. But, you know, 
that's that's because uh, you know as that wise man said if you love what you do you never work another day in your life and I do truly love what I do uh, it's it, it really is uh, a fantastic uh, life that that God has provided me here and it's it's a lot of fun and, and like I said it's especially fun when when you're at the very first steps of things uh, you know in this new ministry at this new apartment complex and seeing some really terrific partners coming together to do something which I think is going to be extraordinary I really do and you know it takes time we couldn't have done this last year you know it took time Tito had, they just had their one year anniversary of Tito's church plant which is where I consider my church home when I try when I can go to church I try to go out there haven't been able to go in a long time because I've just been busy speaking other places or out of town but uh, yeah it's extraordinary to see you know where Tito has come from in one year and they had the one year anniversary and they had a hundred and sixty people at least a hundred and sixty people came to that service so I think that's great well um, again I appreciate you uh, watching this blog and, and being interested in, in what we're doing here in the ATL we uh, if, if I went on to tell you all the good stuff that was happening that would, this, this would be way too long so anyway I don't know if you've had a chance to look at any of the training seminar that we have go to the go to the website and click on that but I mean if you enjoy watching these blogs I think that you'll enjoy uh, taking a look at those sessions too because it really is as I was watching it again recently uh, I, I think if you're interested in this kind of work there'd be something that would interest you too anyway I appreciate you guys and thank you for watching this and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow